Hey Libra, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is your reading. This is, oh, this is a new deck. It's the Lenormand Urban Oracle. It's a cheesy little box, but they are kind of cool. I, they're a little bit dark. I'd like to see them be a little brighter so we could see them better. Some of them are a little bit, but um, they're really cool though. I really do like them. So Lenormand Urban Oracle, we're also gonna be using the Gilded Royale. We're also going to be using the Wheel of the Year. All right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Libra. This is for the month of March. I can't believe it's March already. Anyway, let's get into it. Libra reading month of March. It's for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else that's guided. I could even be directly talking to the cross watcher. Could be your reading. Anything could come out to the very last second of this reading. Okay, you've got heart. You've got whip and you've got ring. Heart, whip, and ring. Uh, heart, so there's something, what is the whip doing here? So the heart and the ring, you know, obviously show something to do with some kind of love connection. And in between it, you got the whip. Now the whip can be cleaning something up. So see how it shows like a firefighter and he's uh, cleaning up the mess on the ground. Uh, this really could be, the whip could be something really heavy duty, hard or heavy, or sometimes it's we're cleaning something up. Gilded Royale, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages? Libra reading. It's for anyone with Libra placements or anyone else who's guided to see the Libra reading. What are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? Libra reading for anyone who's guided could resonate right now or later on down the line. It is a monthly reading for the whole month of March, but of course it could resonate at other times. Libra reading for anyone who's guided. Anything could come out, Libra, right till the very last second. And I mean, even after I click off, I could come right back on camera. Libra reading, what do we need to know? What are the messages? Okay. All right, we got another love card, the lovers right there. We got the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Eight of Cups in the central as the central issue. We've got the Knight of Wands. What else do we need to know? I think for most of you, Libra, this is going to be a love situation. For others of you, it could be another kind of partnership. Look at that. These two popped out in my hand, and this one popped out of the deck. Five of Swords reversed. Okay, let's talk here. You've got two cards as your central issue as something that won't budge the death card in reverse we want the death card to be in the upright also with temperance look at that so this could really be telling us there's a, there's a new beginning on the horizon here with the it, these are like three cards that we want to see in the upright to see something come in to cause change but they're in reverse so this really says to me my new beginning it hasn't started yet because it's temperance it could be about timing uh, the death card reverse says that this situation has not transformed yet. Eight of Cups reversed is the central issue and this supports it and says the same thing. This has not happened yet. There's something here that hasn't happened and what hasn't happened? The wheel has probably not turned yet. It is in the upright, which tells me this could happen any second. And it has something to do with, I really believe it has something to do with a partnership of any kind because well it ha it obviously does look two of cups and lovers i for some of you this could be platonic for some of you this could be love whatever it is some things oh look i can't even look at that the seven of no i'm so sorry the five of swords reversed and the devil there's definitely something to do with the partnership ship that's completely stuck won't budge won't move won't there's something happening here but you do have the Knight of Wands over here. So there could be action coming in with this um, Wheel of Fortune all of a sudden. I'm surprised. I almost feel like the tower is going to happen. Let's grab the... Um, I haven't had the tower come out. I don't think in a while. Spe and here is um, Wheel of the Year. Our brand new cute little deck. Look how clean and crisp it is. Nice to shuffle. Brand new deck. I, you know, I know we always have this deck, but this is like my first, fourth deck of this particular deck of cards. I, they're one of my very favorites, especially they're great for clarifying. I like to get the smaller deck for the clarifying. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good? What do we need to know? What are the messages? 
What do we need to know? What are the messages? Libra reading for anyone who's guided. Libra reading for anyone who's guided. All right, let's take a look at the Eight of Cups reverse because it, it's working with the eight with the Devil. Re I mean, I'm sorry, the Death card reverse here. Stuck energy. Why is the Eight of Cups reverse? Okay, we got a challenge on its side. Judgment. So you are waiting to. I feel like you're waiting to make a decision about something. Now this could be you and a partner. Look at that four of wands. Uh, could have to, something to do with moving. And I'm getting for some of you, this doesn't have to be like romantic love. Uh, there's something here about possible move um, for some of you, or it's something that you'll make a decision about. Look at that. The four of swords just popped out on my hand. I haven't even asked a question yet, but another card of I'm laying low, I'm taking a break, I'm on a hiatus, I'm, you know, I could be healing from something, whatever it is. I'm hibernating something wheels about, and I was just about to do the wheel of fortune. So this wheel is about to turn after whatever this is, that's been stuck. I feel like there's the challenge here is see how she's becoming enlightened. There's some kind of decision getting made in the situation or something like this. Tell me about this. Um, wheel of fortune knight of wands i'm going to do them together they both are full speed ahead energies to me tell me about the wheel of fortune knight of wands what's going on here libra reading for anyone who's guided what do we need to know about these two cards wheel of fortune knight of wands yeah nine of cups reversed the death card you need this to come in so this if this doesn't happen you don't get this wish fulfillment you really need this transformation death cards a transformation you need this to happen so that you can have this transform i want to take a look at the um and look at the five of wands it's like you're up against something you know like someone's fighting you i want this to move ahead i want some kind of change and then something is fighting me um, whether it's, you know, you just can't get it to budge on your own, like you're yourself fighting you in some way, or it could physically be a person. We're going to look at it. I want to look at the devil in the five of swords over here, reversed devil in the five of swords reversed. Five of cups reversed two fives in reverse didn't you have another five well the five i just showed you a minute ago the five of wands uh that is was a five um there's something here about your five so you're finally going to get out of these fives i want to take a look at just the devil can i get a look at just the devil libra reading fives are a hard place to be why is the devil here Queen of Pentacles. I feel like, um, have you been having a hard time? It's like you've been having a hard time. Um, see how she's here with her treasure chest, you know, she's got some kind of abundance here, but I feel like you until now have been unable to see it. Look, Magician reverse, unable to manifest it. Exactly what I'm feeling here. There's something here. Look at how they're both becoming enlightened. You know, um, working with spirit, spirits enlightening someone. Uh, I feel like whatever these fives were, the five of swords, the five of wands we saw earlier, and the five of cups. Um, I feel like you've been in this kind of, um, and I strongly feel like the um, five of pentacles is like this, um, the whip right? Somebody who's really just, so I feel like all your fives are here. Somebody who's really just been through it and you're finally coming out the other side of whatever it was. It has been something like, you know, the fives are such a hard place to be for those of you that don't watch my channel. I talk about this often, you know, it's when we're feeling lost, lonely, sad, abandoned, left out in the cold. We're feeling bullied. We're feeling gaslit. We're feeling drama. We feel like everything's coming at us. There's all different, you know, it's different for everyone, but I'm giving you examples, but you know, it's a time when we're really feeling and you're stuck in it usually for a while. 
this really feels to me like someone's coming out of these fives. I mean, we have the devil here with the two fives, and then we have the queen of pentacles in the upright. It's like your abundance that you were unable to have before is finally coming. Tell me about this two of cups. What about the two of cups? Eight of wands. Wow. Some of you could have some kind of information come in. It could have to do with a partner or it's news of a partner or about your partner. I want to look at the Ace of Swords reverse just flew out and guess what? Ace of Cups too. And look at what's behind the Ace of Cups, that Eight of Cups reverse. Didn't you have that right here in your central issue? Your new beginning's coming. It's just a matter of time. This Ace of Swords, look at it. It's got the Hermit on it. And it's also got, it's the sword of truth and wisdom. Look at all the wisdom, the hermit, the owls, the sword of truth. It's really nice. So there's something here um, coming in for you. Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it's a new, brand new beginning. And it feels like, um, for some of you, this is a love relationship. I'm getting, it could be something coming back around. Now, keep in mind, the eight of cups, sometimes could be somebody coming back instead of leaving uh when in certain circumstances but you know it, you do have this stuck energy here so and you have the new opportunities just about ready to come in you don't see them the seven of swords is right there too and the ace of swords is with it uh and there's judgment again everything's repeat everything's repeat you have something i feel like something's coming back around for some of you uh this could be anything because both are here there's love relationship here and there's platonic relationship here so i feel as though this is something or someone now the weirdest thing is i really don't see a person here i really don't i feel like this is you I really don't see another person here. So I'm going to say this is you coming back around. Okay, so I hope this makes sense to you, Libra. It's you who's having this internal transformation after five energy. I'm going to look smack dab at the judgment card because I think it's the most important card here, especially since it came out as a challenge. Judgment card, central issue. Yeah, absolutely. Something about releasing something, the four of pentacles. Now you could have been holding on to something that was unhappy in your life. This could have been an energy, all those fives, right? And it could have something to do with something unhappy that happened in the past six of cups. So this might not be a, anything coming back around for you as in to rekindle anything it's like i'm finally for once and for all leaving the past in the past you might even be accepting a new invitation although i don't see it here i do see that whatever you went through that involved your heart and a commitment was hard this is like the the commitment and the heart was difficult the whip is there right um it could be that you're cleaning something up, yes, but I think it's more about you cleaning up your own energy. This more about you, like discovering you and really enjoying your life on your own. And, you know, did you go through something really heartbreaking or hard in the past that was holding you hostage kind of in the energy? Uh, not purposefully, of course. Uh, but whatever this was, it was difficult. That's why. And it, it kept you in those fives. We can stay in those fives literally for years. The only way you get out of the fives is to push your way through them, to bulldoze your way out of them and to refuse to wallow in them. And, uh, you know, I don't mean to say it so harshly, but you know what I mean? You have to, it's like the hardest thing to bust free of them sometimes, especially when you got them all on you, you know, cause I see them all here. Um, let me know, Libra comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm going to get you some, um, little angel cards here. These are, I've been using these for the monthlies only because we were getting really spoiled with them. Sometimes I use them on the dailies too. If you guys didn't see it, your weeklies came out and last week you had a bonus reading that hardly anybody watched. I mean, not, I don't want to say hardly any, like 3000 people watch, but come on Libra, there's like 20,000 of you. Watch your bonus reading Libra or you won't get another one. Uh, of course you will. Anyway, angels, what do we need to know here for Libra, please? What do we need to know? 
It was a bonus reading because, you know, you guys had were one of my most liked videos. So please don't forget to like this video. You could get another one. And not only that, but you know how it works. These monthlies determine who's getting weeklies all month. So hit the like, Libra. Don't forget. I know you guys will. Thank you so much. Okay, we have compassion. Well, we see the partnership all over this. We have education. I learned something from this. I learned something. I have chills right now. Transformation. It's exactly what you needed. It's exactly what was stuck, but here it comes. Release, release, release. The transformation's happening. You finally feel content in what you went through and see it as a valuable lesson. I don't know what it was. Faith to put yourself back out there. And this is what I was getting in the beginning of the reading. For most of you, this is like you coming to terms with the pain of that commitment in the past and allowing yourself to transform, release, rebirth, rebuild. I'm thinking re, 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 you know, uh, a rebirth, uh, you know, become enlightened about the lessons learned and, and how you now know what you're doing and, you know, this wisdom that you've gained and I'm ready now to go back out in the world. It doesn't have to be with anybody. I don't see anybody here. And I said that before. I feel like this is you with you preparing you for life in a whole new attitude, which is really, really nice. Um, let me know, Libra. I'd love to hear from you. Good luck with this, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you for slapping that like and dropping a comment. Talk to you soon. Bye.